What is up? This is Raktar. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time, the t t t, -t temple Remix. As you can see, we're in this big, crazy room. There's lots of stuff going on in here. I think I need to go to that side first, but I'm not 100% sure. I do have an extra key. Um, this door, by the way, as you can see, it's not indented into the wall. If I try and open it, it is going to... Uh, it is going to fall on me, but I broke it instead. So sometimes when you run into those doors, whoop, let's be careful here. So whoop, sometimes when you run into those doors, uh, they will have secrets behind them. So it is oftentimes oh, okay. Um, whoop, okay. 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 Ah! Whoa! Oh, you jets, bro. I'm just trying to get these things behind you. Oh yeah, what I was saying. <laughs> so sometimes it's worth your it's worth your while to um fire, 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 fire. Nope, okay, cool. Sometimes it's worth your while to blow them up because they will have secrets behind them. So you're like, how do we get up there if we can't? Well, you do this! I don't know if I actually have to go up first or not. I don't think I do. And then this will song of time the thing down there. Nope. Maybe we have to get to the point where... I, th I was thinking maybe... Okay, so there's this spot that Navi's like freaking the fuck out about. And I keep on thinking that if I... Play the song of time in that spot that there's this block that'll come down, but maybe I actually have to go up there first. Alright, no, it's not working. Alright, so, but we have to save that Goron, to say the least. And we have, so we have to get up there. But there's a door to get up there, so I guess that's what we have to do. We have to go to the door. Alright. So, we got some fancy. Okay. Here's what we have to do here. I should probably kill the keys first to, uh... And I've just been having some... I, I got this long-ass sword so I wouldn't have to worry about this shit. And then this keys makes a mockery of my long-ass sword. If I had the bow, this would be so much easier right now. See, this is why... If there is one advantage to getting the fairy bow, it is that... Shooting keys with a hookshot is like targeting womp rats in my speeder back home. They're no bigger than two meters. Alright, so what we have to do here... Oh, whoops. Is we have to hit this button, it's gonna take the fire down, and then we have to... race. You're like, oh, but the door's right there. Easy mode, right, wrong. You have to race past... Yep, these flames. And I failed. It's actually literally just a right angle turn and I failed it. Actually, that's a little more than a right angle, but that doesn't... The angle of the turn doesn't make a difference, but the ease of the route does uh, make a difference. See, as you can see, that was pretty simple. I don't know how I miffed it up the first time. Probably because I'm me and I fail at this game a lot. That's not true. Like, I feel like I'm pretty good at this game, but uh, it's something that... I've heard other LPers talk about, like, when- oh! Shit. I'm a dummy. I have to do this. And I think there's an actual door behind- yep, there's an actual door behind the door. And it got a funny face on it. Oh, what is this? This is a boss. Oh, I remember this guy. We have to use Goron's special prop. If we just, uh... I guess it'll probably be easier if I throw a girl on special crap at him. Yep. Alright. Oh, okay. And then he's gonna try and pull some... Dude, I got him. I got him change you! Alright. He's gonna change color now. He's gonna be pissed out. Even more at us. Where'd he go? Get your bitch ass over. Where are you at? Oh, there we go. Alright. 
but I thought I could dodge him just by standing on the inside there. You know, I really like the mid-boss music in Zelda. I feel like I hit him with that other one, but maybe not. There we go. Whatever. Either way, alright. Let's just get him right away. Let's just change Yuka's ass. Oh, I thought I could change Yuka. Alright, let's get him when he comes around the other way. It's not too tough. Because my sword is ridiculously lengthy. That is not a penis joke, but uh, it could very well be misconstrued as a penis joke. My sword is ridiculously lengthy. Alright, cool. Get hit by my lengthy sword, you piece of shit. If you have the bow, I think you can shoot him too, but... Firstly, I don't know that for a fact. And secondly, it doesn't matter. This should be... Oh, yep, I was like, this should be the end of him. And... I was like, where's... I was like, that should make the fire go away. And it does. <gasps> but it's like, we need to be in that other room, but not yet. So let's go and see where this takes us. Ooh, it goes up. We actually have another item that we direly are in need of. <gasps> Alright. Venturing forth, Wood. Oop. And we have another switch. Which, I'm just gonna hit it now and see what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's another switch that... Yep, I need to drop a bomb on. Yeah, like, that run... Oh, here's another spot. As a little kid... I was like, what you have to do here is like try to aim and like step over to the side as much as possible, but of course that's not what you need to do at all. But like I said, as a child, I totally believed that was what needed to be done, when in reality you can just wait right here. Yep, easiest buy. And climb up. There were so many misconceptions that I had about this game as a child. Well, any game. I mean, when you're a kid, you always want to use your, like, favorite items to to uh, to do stuff. So you're like, I want to use my bow and arrow and my, and my freaking bombs. Oh, so as you can see... Actually, I think... No. I'm totally... I'm using logic from a different Zelda game. I'm like... If you put on the iron boots and stand on this button, it'll get pressed. But that's a totally different Zelda game. Alright, so... This part, even in my older years, I've always found to be the slight, slightest bit tricky. You might, if you feel like it, you might want to kill these keys before you do this. Uh, I'm pretty certain that the only way to make this, to make this run, like, it's not possible unless you, uh, run on, on these. But it's scary, because if you fall down, you fall down, like, way fur, fur back in the level. And of course it faces you up that direction first, which is like, that's not where you want to face, you want to face this way. And as a child, oh, and I already got a keys on my bitch ass. Oh, oh, this is, like, so scary to me. But look, I made it with time to spare. That was like not. That was like not challenging in any way. For so, I guess that's another thing. Like, there's these parts that even far into my adult life, I always come back to them, and I'm like, I remember this being so hard. But then I think, I'm pretty sure the last like six times I've played this game, that's just been like the easiest thing ever. But I still will always look back on it as an adult and be like, this is. So so tough. This is so challenging because I, one time as a kid, I just couldn't do it. And seriously, I mean, for a kid, you gotta have some, uh, some hand-eye coordination, which, if you've been watching my playthrough, I do not have hand-eye coordination. And here it is! Our new item. The Megaton Hammer. The way, I always like to call it the Wazaton Hammer, but that's stupid. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So yeah. That cuts us back, so we don't have to, um... It kind of makes life easy, so we don't have to backtrack, which is cool. I like I like it when, the t when temples and games are like, Hey, we did this so you can just cut back. Nope, we do not want to fight these. Oh, fuck it. 
I was like, I probably should not try and battle these things with uh, the Megaton anymore, but... Why not? Oh, okay. I think I need to... I'm doing it! Oh, crap. That's why that's a bad idea. <laughs> Alright. We need to, I think... And here's a, an interesting fact. Uh, the Megaton Hammer... I should probably do more research on these things before just, like, making random statements like an asshole, but I'm pretty sure the Megaton Hammer does damage comparable to the Big Goron Sword, but... It's... oh. What? Oh, okay. Wait. Thank you. Thank you. Get out the hookshot. Does damage comparable with bigger on sword, but like I'm not. Like I said, that's just me being an asshole and making statements that I really know nothing about. Attack me again, whatever. All right. I need some. Or, all right, so I need something to hold this down. I'm pretty sure I saw some boxes up at the top of these steps, which I wish I had remembered to grab a box while I was up there. But hindsight is 2020. All that cliche bullshit. Blah 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 blah. Who really cares? The point is, I need a box. Maybe I need both these boxes. These boxes seem tiny. Maybe the box seems tiny because I'm now an adult. Because, like, the last time I, I did one of these and I needed a box to, um... And I needed a box to press down a switch, I was, like, 10 years old. Or I was, like, 13, maybe. I don't know. I always forget. They have said, like... This is what Link's actual age was in this in this game. In this blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I want. I want to do this. Kablam! And of course, as you can probably guess already, that's how we're gonna get that. Drop, drop down, down. You give me the option to hit A to go down, and I do hit A. What is your freaking problem? Oh, and then this button, Navi's gonna be like, This button looks rusty, so you can't do that thing. But first we're gonna do this, just to expedite things, right? And... Oh, that's funny. And that'll be like, oh, look! Now we can just jump straight into um, the boss room, but of course, there's something... This switch looks rusty. Thanks! I already have my freaking humor on you, bitch. But of course we need to come into here, because, um noise. Oh, and now finally we're going to be able to do this. All right. We need to... Alright. God, I looks like such an asshole when I play the most common song in the game, or maybe the second most common song in the game wrong. I'm like, now you need to do this. The thing that you need to do right here is play this song incorrectly because if you play it correctly, you'll look too much like you might know what you're doing in this playthrough. And that just won't work. You gotta, you gotta look like a total douchebag whenever you do anything. Alright. So, one thing I don't have yet is the boss key. I feel like I can hold the, the Megaton Hammer too easily. Like, I can just jump and just kind of have it, like, swinging around in one hand. Like, I, that's, I don't think that should be able to happen. Alright. What do you say? Are you releasing me? Am I free to go? I'll tell you a secret for saving me. Oh, what could you possibly... A door is hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple. But the Goron Special Crop won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger than the Goron Special Crop? Yeah, it fucking do. It's the Megaton Hammer. Hammer, 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 hammer. Alright, let's crack this guy open. So, you will notice... I do feel kind of, uh... Kind of like a failure of a human being because I didn't get the compass or the map in this uh, in this dungeon. But I also feel like to do that, I would have had to. Uh... Oh, let's just try and make this. Yep, there we go. And we're not going to take any damage. Boom. Cool. All right. So I didn't get the compass or the map in my run through of this uh, dungeon. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. I meant to go the other way. But that is because you did need the fairy bow to get at least one of those items. So I still do feel like kind of a champion because I was able to do this without the fairy bow, which I knew. I knew before coming in here that they hadn't really... That's something that they hadn't planned out beforehand very well. So it's like, where's the secret door? Oh, it's right here because here's the statue and it's pretty well outlined. Like, 
They're not really trying to hide it from you or not. What? Okay. What the f oh my gosh, I was like, what is going on? And of course, this hammer has the power to shrink statues. That's what it, its real power is. So, now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode, and I will see you next time.